Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I am really excited to share it with y'all. I've been pumped to do this video all week long and we're gonna be talking about exactly how to start a t-shirt business from home without any kind of special printers or equipment. All you really truly need in terms of equipment is a heat press. And I 100% mean it, you guys. It is so easy and profitable and you can do it too. So if you guys are new to my channel, we talk about a lot of different types of transfers, sublimation and DTF and all the things. And what we're going to be specifically talking about in this business plan is buying DTF transfers and applying them on the shirt and selling them. So if you guys are new to what DTF is, it's basically a big machine that's able to print out these special DTF transfers and then you apply the transfer on the shirt with a heat press and it makes shirts just like I'm wearing today um, As you see you can put it on any color shirt. You can put it on any types of fabric content It's very durable. The transfer will basically outlive your shirt. It's pretty awesome So um, in this video, we're going to be talking about like I said buying the transfers instead of making them And at first I was not against it But I never thought in my business I would ever utilize that because I thought well, you're having to cut into your profit by going and buying the transfers. Why not make them yourself? But you guys, I sat down the other day and I really broke down the numbers. I'm going to be sharing all that with you guys today. And I figured out how much profit can you actually make, you know, doing a, having a business like this by buying the transfers. You don't have to have the fancy equipment. You don't have to deal with the maintenance. You don't have to deal with making the transfers. Time equals money, and this is a great way to maximize your time. So there's a lot of people that that can benefit. A lot of people want to start t-shirt businesses, but they think that they can't because they need all this equipment. But in reality, all you really need the space for is some shirt inventory and a heat press and a couple other little things. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking everything down for you. I'm going to talk about how much the investment will cost if you're completely new. So if you have to buy a heat press and buy all those things, how much will that cost? I'm going to talk about what you need to run this business, all the material you need, how much all of that will cost, how much each shirt is going to cost you to make, how many shirts can you make per hour? So what is your total profit going to be? What is the average cost of these shirts online? So how much can you sell them for? We're going to cover all of that today because guys, I really think this could be a brilliant business idea for a lot of you. And um, I'm excited to share it with you guys today. And honestly, it makes me want to start selling shirts again, which I definitely might, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to give it all away yet. You'll have to watch the video. So let's go ahead and get on into it and I'll share you guys with you guys all the information. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and order our transfers that we're gonna be using for today's project, and we're gonna be ordering several different transfers. So you guys know that I love my craft source. I have always loved them for years, and they have all things crafty. Like, if you think about it, it's probably on that website. So they came out with these direct-to-film transfers last year, I believe, and they're amazing. They're really great quality. So let's go ahead and order us some DTF transfers. So when you get to the website, you're gonna go over here to the top tab that says direct to film transfer and you can either select the ones that they already have designed so you select the designs and then you can order them from there or you can go to the custom direct to film transfers where you use your own designs so that is what I'm going to be utilizing in today's video because I want to use some designs that I bought Once you get here to the website, it has a lot of helpful information about how long it takes, some instructions, different things like that. So we're gonna select this Get Started. Once you get on here, um, you're gonna see there's a lot of cool, helpful information here, some videos that show you how to use, um, the sizes that they offer, the times, the temps, all that good stuff, um, how to make a gang roll on Canva if you'd like. Um, but we're gonna be making a, our images using their layout designer, which is really easy to use, and I'll show you how. So we're gonna go ahead and select our images here. All right, so if you only wanted to just get this one print and that was it, you can go ahead here and select your size to let's say a 10 by 10 adult and you're done, you're ready to go. But let's say we wanted to order multiple different patterns and designs. We're gonna go ahead and select this, first of all, the size we want. So we want a 22 by 60 foot gang roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then we're gonna hit layout designer and once we get here, as you see here, our design's here, and it's already at, let's see, I think it's showing at 22 inches wide. We're going to go ahead and scale it down to about 10. All 
All right, now I wanna go ahead and put my other designs on here. So what you're gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to this left-hand side and just add my layers and add all the designs I want to fit on this roll. All right, so as y'all see, I was able to get all of my designs on here and I was even able to duplicate that and I could even duplicate this one. It's hard to see because it's black, um, but I was able to duplicate this one twice as well. So we were able to fit two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11 designs here on our gang sheet. So once everything looks good and you have everything the way that you want it, you're just gonna go down here to save project. All right, once it's done, it's gonna show you an overview of everything and you can look through everything and make sure nothing's overlapping, nothing's going over the sides. And once you're happy with everything, you just scroll back up to the top and you click add to cart. So once you're in your shopping cart, if you wanna save an additional percentage, you guys know that I have a coupon code for my craft source. If you go to the coupon code, you type in simply Sally5 and you will save a little bit off of your order. So let's talk about what you need to start a business like this. So a business where you buy the shirts, you buy the transfers, and you just apply them on the shirt and sell them to your customers. So in a minute, we're gonna break down cost of everything and how much your profit will be and all of that. But right now, we're just gonna talk about what you need. So obviously, you will need to start off with some type of t-shirts. Um, you're gonna wanna pick what kind of styles, what kind of brand you want. You can go as big with, as this if you want want to or you can go as little as you want it just depends on your budget and how big you want to go with this so I would recommend and how I started was I picked certain colors and I bought three of each size of each color so three smalls three mediums three larges three extra larges all the way up to 3x and that way I had a stock but not over the top because I didn't know what colors were going to be popular what sizes were going to be popular all that stuff so that's how I got started and it was a good way to kind of have some shirts in stock and then I could order as things got low. So that is what I did. Um, you know, obviously stick with popular colors. Do your research on what colors do well. You could start, if you wanted to do something smaller to start off with, I would do neutral colors like an ivory off-white and maybe a darker color like heather navy or black or something like that because a lot of transfers will match those colors. Um, and then you're going to want to pick your brand, you know, styles. I know that Bella Canvas is very popular right now. This is the Bella Canvas CVC. Um, comfort colors are really popular. And then if you want to go a little bit of the cheaper route, the Gildan Heavy Cotton, which are great shirts, by the way. Even though they're the cheapest, they're still good shirts. They're just more boxy. So you have the Gildan, the um, Bella Canvas, and the comfort colors seem to be trending right now. So these are some shirt options. So that is something that you'll need first. Next, you will need transfers. So these are from my craft source and they are the DTF custom transfers. So I got me a bunch of different transfers um, and then you can have these in stock as you want. You can keep these for about six months, maybe longer, but that is about a good range to keep them just in a nice dry space. Um, and they'll last for you. But what they look like is they're very colorful and vibrant on this clear sheet and the back is white. So the cool thing about these transfers is you can apply them on any color because white will show up, any colors will show up. So the cool thing about those is are they're durable, they feel good, um, and they're very popular options for transfers. Next, you will need some type of Teflon sheet. So this is for after your second press. You'll just want kind of a protective sheet. So these are kind of good to have in stock. You can get them on Amazon super cheap. Next are lint rollers. So lint rollers are great for every t-shirt company. You will want to clean your shirt off before you put your transfer on just so you get off lint and debris or anything that might be on your shirt. You can get these at Sam's Club for a pack of four, really cheap. The next thing that you'll need are some type of mailers. So these are both from Amazon. I have the 
10 by 13 poly mailers and you can get the more you get the cheaper they are so these are great because they're the self sealing so you just peel that off you can seal them down and then I have cello bags which are also 10 by 13 that I will fold the shirt up in put them in here and then I'll fold it down and then it will fit perfectly inside of this that is for like one to three shirts and if you ship more than that, a box is usually recommended. So you might need boxes as well. Um, but this is good for just like a couple shirts. Next is some type of label printer. So this is the Dymo 4XL. This printer has actually been great. You just put the um, rollers here inside of the Dymo and you plug it up to your computer and it prints out the labels. You guys, this is one of the best purchases you should you can make for your business because it saves so much time. Back in the day, I used to print my labels out out of my printer and tape them on and it was just it took so long and it used a lot of tape. So this saves you a lot of time, energy, effort, just gets you the label printer. It does not have to be Dymo. It can be any of the brands that they have on Amazon, but that is definitely a must have when you have a t-shirt business. Next, you will need a heat press. Let's go ahead and talk about that for just a second. All right, so let's talk really quickly about what kind of heat presses I use for my business and that have worked well for selling t-shirts. So if you want a more in-depth video of what kind of heat press you should use for your business and all the different types and styles, I have a video that I made last year that's really in detail and I will link it here in the cards. So just in short, this one is my StarCraft 15 by 15 Swing Away Press. And this one has where you just set your time and temp, clamp it down, pick your um, tension right here, and then when it's done, you just open it up and you can swing it away and it can go all the way around so you do need, do need a little bit more space for a press like this but um, nevertheless it's a great press and it comes with lots of attachments this one is an eight in one so it has a lot of different things that you can have included in this so if you're wanting kind of an all-in-one deal this is a great press for that and it always gives me great results. I got it at my craft source and it is the StarCraft 8-in-1. And then this one over here is the big boy. This is my 16 by 24 by Heat Press Nation. This heat press has been amazing as well for large projects, commercial type projects. Um, and if you want something that kind of works for you while you go and working on other things because it has the auto open. So once you set that timer and it is done, this, this heat press just swings open and your design is not under the heating element anymore. So that's cool for people like me that might forget or something like that. Like you walk away for a second and you kind of forget to take your stuff off the press. <laughs> this one is great for that. So this one has a lot of perks. This one has a lot of perks. These are both great presses and um, two that I highly recommend. I will link them down in the description box below. So the next thing that you need to factor in is are you gonna sell your own designs? Or are you gonna buy designs that are already on transfers that people pre-sell um, or what? So I would definitely recommend getting as custom as you can with them, buying the designs from somebody or drawing them yourself using like Procreate, Illustrator, or even Canva or something like that you could do. So if you want them to be unique and stand out, definitely try and learn to draw them and do them yourself or hire people to draw them for you. That is how you'll kind of get uh, you know more business because you'll be unique and different but you can totally buy designs that are already made and just find ways to market them really well but that is definitely something else you need to have a budget in mind for how much you're going to spend on designs or just taking the time to make the designs so we talked a little bit about what you need. So let's talk about the investment cost of how much it will cost. Now I want to start this off by saying cost is going to vary depending on where you live um, and all of the, all kinds of factors, but this is just kind of a general amount that you might expect to spend on a business like this. So let's get started with saying you'll need a shirt stock. So let's just say we did two colors and three of each size and color that ends up being around $209. So I wanted to take a brief intermission just really quickly to let you guys know that if you're wanting to save on shirts and get like low pricing, you need to have an EIN number. So that's a tax identification number. And the reason why is just because you get the cheapest prices for shirts. So the most expensive way to buy shirts is at stores like Michael's Hobby Lobby, et cetera. Um, the second would be to go to websites like Jiffy and Shirt Space and places like that um, because then you get... Um, a, a deal, but you don't get it as cheap as you would if you have to put your EIN number. For example, this website, you have to have an EIN number to shop with them. So um, you just spend $175 and you get free shipping. So that is what I usually utilize when I'm buying my shirts is I go through places like this and um, they ship really fast. Usually within a couple of days, there it's to you and you can get the best deal on clothes. 
Next are transfers. Let's say we bought four gang rolls, which is a roll can fit about 11 different designs. Um, so if we get four of those for each shirt bought, that's about $137. Next is a heat press. So this can vary depending on your size, the style, the brand, all the things. So 180 being on the low end and 1,000 being on the high end, but that is what you'll expect to spend about on a heat press. Lint rollers are great to have in a t-shirt business. If you know, you know, um, there's lots of lint on t-shirts. And so um, that will get rid of that for you. And if you get a four pack at Sam's, that ends up being around $2.87 each lint roll, which will last you a very long time. Next is a Teflon sheet. You can get multiple of these on Amazon for $7.89 and it'll last you forever. Poly mailers, we like to order in bulk here, so you can get a thousand of them for about $55 on Amazon. Cello bags go into the poly mailers. It just keeps your shirt nice and clean. It's just more professional. I think it's a must when it comes to t-shirt shops. Um, and you'll expect to spend about $17.99 for $300. Designs for shirts, the cost will vary so much depending on if you design them yourself or you go and buy them. Once you buy them one time, you can use it over and over and over again. So the cost really varies for this. A label printer with labels, expect to spend around 130 being on the low end for a label printer. Um, and like I said, the cost varies so much depending on the type, but that is one of the things that if you have a business, highly suggest a label printer. So in total, these specific things add up to about $741.74. So I gave kind of wiggle room here saying it'll be less than a thousand. So expect that you might spend a couple hundred dollars more. You might spend less, um, but expect that you can start this business for less than 1K, which is a very, very good startup cost for a business. So we talked about the investment cost, but now let's break it down per shirt because that's really important to know how much to charge based off of how much you're spending on your materials. So our gang roll is a five foot custom size. I said it came with around between 10 to 13 designs you could fit on there, but let's just go in the middle and say 11 designs. So that would be 3420 using my code. So that makes each transfer $3.11. So that definitely saves versus buying one at a time. Next, you'll look at shirts. So if you use Gildan, expect to spend about $2.27 for Gildan, uh, $4.49 for Bella Canvas, and $5.94 for Comfort Colors. Your price will reflect based off of what shirt you choose. The poly mailer will break down to about five cents per. Cello bag will break down to about six cents per. Your labels for your label printer, at least the ones I use, break down to about four cents per. And your shipping definitely varies. Y'all know that every area is different, where it's shipping to, the amount of shirts that they order, but at least one shirt expect to pay about $4.20 for one shirt. So I looked up on Etsy and the average sale cost of shirts ranges from about $16 up to $30 for a t-shirt. Now this depends on what type of shirt they offer and you know all kinds of factors, but just know that that's an average. And most of those offer free shipping, which we all know that it's not technically free, but they just added the cost of shipping into their product. So our profit, if we use the Bella Canvas shirts and all of those other costs that I gave you, our profit would be about $12.05 if we sold our shirts for $24 with free shipping. So that is your profit is $12.05. So now we're going to talk about the time per shirt breakdown. So this is extremely important because $12 profit doesn't sound like a lot when you're working, but if it only takes you a little bit of time, it's worth it, right? So I went and tested this out multiple times throughout our experiment here, did multiple shirts, and I got an average cost of two minutes and 40 seconds each shirt. That is the time that it takes to make each shirt. With no breaks, so if you worked continuously, you can make 22.5 shirts in an hour, which equals $271 and around 13 cents per hour, which is amazing. <laughs> like, that's a lot of money. And obviously, a lot of us small businesses, we're not going to get 30 shirts in an hour and make hundreds and hundreds of shirts per day, but you know, you can't knock it out. So that's a great profit margin for a business to make. Um, so if you get... 30 shirts in a week, you can knock all those out in an hour. So that's just something to think about. Um, that is a great 
time per shirt breakdown. For these specific transfers, we're gonna go ahead and set our heat press to 338 degrees Fahrenheit. And they are going to be pressed for 15 seconds. So let's go ahead and set our timer down to 15. And you wanna go ahead too and set your pressure to medium to firm pressure. I got all of my designs laid out on the shirt color that I want them. Some of them ended up matching so good on the shirt. It was funny because I didn't know for sure how they were going to match. But the navy on that one matched great. The purple on that one. The green on that one. And the um, pink. Look at how close those pinks are. That ended up almost being perfect. So these are all going to be so cute. I can't wait to see how they turn out. All right, our heat press is up to temperature. So let's prep our shirt. So we're just going to lay our shirt down here on the press. You want to center it up as good as you can get it right now while it's on the press. So I usually take the sides and kind of just eyeball it and match everything up as good as I can to make sure everything's centered. If you want to get really technical with this, you could get one of those t-shirt guides, but I found that eyeballing it normally is pretty good. All right, next your lint roller and you're just going to kind of go over your shirt a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet here on my shirt and I'm gonna pre-press my shirt for just a few seconds. What that does is it gets the moisture out of the shirt so it is ready for press. Okay, now you're gonna place your design on your shirt. You don't need any resistant sheet for this press. So you're gonna do 15 seconds at 338. All right, now I'm gonna let it cold peel. So you're not gonna to touch it at all until it's cool. And then we are going to peel. All right, it's fully cool. So we can go ahead and peel our design. You're just gonna take one of the corners and you're just gonna peel. And it looks so cute, but it's not quite done yet. So now we're going to do our final press. So this is where you want to probably get your Teflon sheet. And you're just going to press it again for about 10 more seconds. And now your shirt is finished. All right, just for fun, let's figure out exactly how long it takes to make a shirt. That's cooling, second press, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer here on my phone and we are going to center everything and get started. So going now. only took two minutes and about 40 seconds to make a shirt from start to finish. I'd say that's pretty quick. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so here is how this shirt fits. For any of you that are curious on sizing and reference and all that, this is the Bella Canvas Unisex in medium. And I like my shirts to fit on the looser side, so I would size up whatever your normal size is if you kind of want more of a loose fitting tee. But these shirts are great, they're so soft, they're so comfortable, and they work really well for these transfers. So just to show you guys, but I love it. I'm so excited to have some new shirts for me for the summer. I never make myself anything, so so it's nice to have some new shirts. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I hope that you learned something and got something out of today's video. It was really fun not only to break down the cost, but to talk about everything that you would need to start this business and being able to also craft along with you guys. So I really enjoyed making this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, leave comments down below. Just let me know what you thought. Do you think that you would ever do a business like this? Have you tried having a business like this? Um, I would love all the information down in the comments. And I've even thought about maybe potentially making this a little series, talking about my experience doing and selling different types of things and different business ideas, what you would need to start, the cost breakdowns, and just kind of this style video and different things. So let me know what y'all think about that as well. Well, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.